The avocado. This little guy and pretty much everything else in town has to take four separate plane rides to arrive up here in chilly Barrow, Alaska. Adam. Your material up there seems like it's running a little thin. What the heck? I think Barrow might have one great story left in her. This is solid ice. It goes for five miles from here to the open ocean. Three gray whales are now trapped in walls of ice six inches thick. You have whales in trouble, and you didn't call me? I didn't call you because there's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. Rachel, I'd like you to meet Fred and Wilma. And this is Bam Bam. <gasps> Everything's going to be OK. Governor Haskell, we were wondering if you could mobilize a ship that can break through the ice. Are you serious? With every passing hour, their path to freedom slips further away as more of the ocean turns solid. All we need is the cooperation from the governor, but the governor has basically turned his back on the whales. I hate her so much. We will do everything we can to help these poor creatures. Pretty amazing, huh? The National Guard will pull the icebreaker where it's desperately needed. The pole should be a piece of cake. Nothing's that simple in the Arctic. This is a monumental task as all eyes and efforts are focused on saving the whales. The temperature has dropped through the floor. We can't keep up with the ice. The town of Barrow has shut down as school children and shopkeepers alike furiously work to cut a path to the ocean. Where's Bam Bam? He's not coming up. Maybe he's hurt. You can't go down there, it's too dangerous. The only icebreaker within navigable distance belongs to the Soviets. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let the Reds in to save the day. Then those whales are going to die. Even though they're big and powerful. They're so much like us. We're vulnerable. We get scared. And we need help sometimes, too.